How's it going everyone? It's Derek Lamru, and today we're going to answer the debate between lens compression and perspective distortion. Let's get into it. So what is the definition of focal length? Is the distance in millimeters from your camera sensor to your lens. When I pick a focal length for a film, a commercial, documentary, I'm thinking about what that focal length does, which is three things. Field of view, compression, distortion. Field of view is how much you see in the background. Sometimes you have a wide scene and you've done a lot of set decking and you wanna show off that background. Sometimes you want that field of view to be narrow so you're not seeing as much in the background. Maybe you're trying to hide something just off camera and you don't want a wide angle lens to show that. And then compression is how close the background looks from the person. Even though the background isn't changing, when we use a tighter or wider focal length, that perspective and the compression changes. Perspective distortion is how our subject looks on camera relative to the distance from them to the lens. A wider focal length will have a wider field of view. It'll be less compressed, but it doesn't mean it's more distorted. We'll talk about that in a minute. A longer focal length may be more compressed, a tighter field of view, and may or may not be less distorted. So what actually factors when you're talking about focal length and lens compression? Well, we also have to factor in the distance of our subject to the lens. Let's take a look at an example where I had my wife, Sarah, at the same distance from the lens, but we changed the focal length. In this 11 mil shot, we can barely see Sarah. We can see the whole room, but when we move forward into our 17 and our 24 mil, and then our 35 mil, 50 mil, our 70 mil, 100 mil, our brains think that Sarah is getting closer to the camera. If we look at another example where Sarah is staying the same, but the camera is moving, further or closer to her, that's when we'll notice changes in her face. And this is what commonly people refer to the distortion of an image. So in an 11 mil shot, we look at Sarah's face and it's a little bit more rounded. The background is really wide. We can see everything in our shot in this 11 mil. But the camera is only eight inches from Sarah's face. To achieve a similar framing on a 17 mil shot, the camera is now 15 inches from Sarah's face. We see a little bit less, so our field of view shrinks in the background, and Sarah's face still has some distortion on it. In our 24 mil, again, we're about 24 inches from camera to Sarah's face. And now, the background again, our field of view is getting smaller. Her face is becoming less distorted. And now we're starting to see as we get to that 35 and 50 mil mark. The 50 mil or the nifty 50 is the focal length that people say closest resembles the human eye because it's what our eyes see. Now jumping up from the 50 mil, we hit the 70 mil lens. Now the 70 mil lens is 88 inches away from Sarah's face. And the 70 mil to 100 mil is usually that sweet spot where photographers say the face looks the most flattering. So in this case, if we look at the 70 mil, we look at the 50 mil and we compare it to the 16 mil or the 135 mil, yes, the face looks the most flattering in that shot, but really, it's because we are far enough away from the lens that we don't have that distortion. If we zoom in on that first image of the 11 mil, I'm gonna zoom in 1700%. And if we flip back and forth between the 11 mil and the 135 mil, they're almost the same perspective. One is not more distorted than the other. Look at her face they're very similar. And that is perspective distortion because Sarah has not moved from the spot that she was in. We've just changed up the focal length. The distance from our subject to the lens is what's causing that distortion. Let's take a look at all of these shots from the 11 mil to the 135 mil to compare what each of them look like side by side. If I had to pick one focal length for forever, it would probably be the 35 mil. I'm curious, what's your favorite focal length? Comment it below. When I'm choosing a focal length, I go through a series of steps in my head. A, what am I shooting? Am I shooting something that needs to be a little bit more corporate-y 
and you know maybe focal lengths between 50 and 75 are gonna make more sense because they're more flattering. Or do I have that creative freedom to choose something that's a little bit more aesthetically different and I can mix up focal lengths and choose you know, an 11 mil for one scene and a 75 mil for the other. The second thing that I choose when I'm shooting focal lengths is how many focal lengths do I actually need? Am I trying to tell a story that just needs wide lens, just needs tight lens, needs a bit of both, or do I just need one focal length like a 35 or 50 to mix that middle in between? And then the third step oftentimes is the thing that I think about last is what is the room actually giving me? If I go on a location scout and the room is really large, Maybe I will opt for some tighter lens and some wide angle lens and play with that perspective. But if the room is really small, I'm probably gonna be limited to those wider lens and focal lengths. Thanks for watching and if you have other questions about cameras, camera techniques, or how I film commercials, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you just tap, just tap that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you're liking the video so far.